Kimball Art Museum recently added a new painting to its extensive collection of religious work. Michelangelo's Torment of St. Anthony is the first known work by the legendary painter. It's the only painting by Michelangelo in the entire Western Hemisphere. The painting is about St. Anthony Abbott, who was a hermit who lived in, in Egypt, and um, the story goes that he, that he was tormented by all of these demons. But this is the moment that's being depicted. You see St. Anthony levitating, surrounded by all these demons, who are clawing at him and pulling his hair and pulling at his drapery. But you might notice that he looks completely unperturbed by all that's going on. In fact, he looks very calm in the face of all this torment. And it's because he realized that if any of those demons had any power, it would only take one of them to bring him down and to hurt him. So nine demons clawing at him, he knew that they were powerless. A certain sense of how he came back and refined the outlines, because you can see these kind of white halos. When I came to the Kimball in 1992 to establish a joint conservation program between the Kimball and the Eamon Carter Museum, I was asked to hire one colleague. It was going to be a two-person department. The first person that I hired was Michael Gallagher. He's a British restorer who is now the head of paintings conservation at the Met, and he's the person who cleaned this painting. When Adam Williams, the dealer who bought this painting, acquired it, he first had to get an export license so that he could take it out of England. So once that export license was granted, the first thing he did was bring it to the Metropolitan Museum because he wanted the scholars there to study it and the painting needed to be cleaned. Mm -hmm. So he asked Michael Gallagher to clean it. So I first really learned about this painting firsthand when I was visiting the Met in New York, and as I often do, I drop by and visit Michael's studio at the Met and ask to see what he's working on. And he had this painting locked in a little drawer, and I'll never re forget my excitement when he unlocked the drawer and pulled it out, and I looked at this little painting.